which uh, this is a song that goes way back originally, the original version of that, but you might remember one of these from around that time too. Yes, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. And Mix 94.5 is proud to present Jersey Boys, the story of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. And we are pleased to have in the studio the guys who play the Four Seasons. Graham Foote, Declan Egan, Anthony Harkin and Glaston Toft are in the studio with us. Morning, guys. Thanks morning. For coming, morning. Good morning. Now I was going to ask who plays the situation and who's Snooky, but now I get it. Of course. <laughs> You're the Jersey I'm, boy. I moonlight as Snooky in my spare time. <laughs> we, were looking, we were waiting for the orange people to come walking out. <laughs> but actually, you're looking like the four tenors today, I've got to say. Yes. Yeah, look, I mean, it doesn't really translate to radio, but for those of you who aren't uh, <laughs> looking online, uh, we're wearing lovely black suits, which is great. Very smart. Well, it's some 15 in the morning or something <laughs> like that. It's fantastic. That's worth some points, Jeff. Definitely. So you're on a Yunkit promoting the show, of course, coming to Perth. A yunkit. Yeah. yeah, a small Yunkit. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good to get on a Yunkit. Uh, yeah, we're just here to launch the season and um, let people know that we're, we're coming over after, you know, I guess about three and a half years. Mm. The show's been running in Australia to huge, huge crowds and I think about 1.3 million people here have seen it and probably a bunch of guys, a bunch of people from Perth have flown over no to doubt. Melbourne. But, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, now it's lovely to be sitting down here for a while from April and... Uh, like, I, I think it's something like nearly 200 million records the four seasons sold all up, wasn't it? It was a phenomenal... Yeah, something stuff. like that, yeah. you know, they've had... Yeah. I mean, that's the great thing about, you know, this band, like, they had hits in the, in the 60s, 70s and 80s and yeah. All a Night was released again in the 90s, I think, you know, like, yeah. they yeah. just sold so many records and, uh, you know, changed their sound over that time that people don't recognise how many hits they actually know. And mm. you've been on the show the longest. Yeah, I have, yeah. I mean, I opened in Melbourne back in July 2009, so I've been doing this show for close to three and a half years now so uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been uh, a, a great pleasure to kind of to perform this role uh, again and again so when you come over ahead of time to you know talk about the show coming next year in April have you checked out the Crown Theatre where you're going to do it and sort of had a look and yeah. thought oh, yeah, this, will, uh, this will work for us I've, you know? I've performed out there a couple of times yeah. before it was Crown they've done a lovely job of course, out now there it's we were I lucky mean, enough to be Burswood. staying um, with the fine people mm -hmm. at the Crown and mm -hmm. they've done a, a super job but Thank it's you. um yeah, thank you, Graham. Um, <laughs> and for those who don't know anything about the show, I mean, basically it's a story about four working class boys, isn't it, who get together and become one of the most successful pop groups of uh, that era. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's a, it's a true story, you know. It's about yeah. Yeah. Frankie Valley and, you know, the four guys. Well, originally they were just the Four Seasons yeah. before it became Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. But yeah. four guys from New Jersey who grew up with nothing to their name, just singing on the street corner and really had to, uh, had to fight to, uh, you know, to get, their, get, to get their sound heard, you know. And, uh, and they did. And they kind of did with so much resistance, especially from, you know, the British invasion. Uh, mm. You know, that's, you know, it's the persistence of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons to keep on going has been the reason for their success, you know. But there's there's the mafia involved. Uh, there's uh, is it there always? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're from New Jersey, I guess. It <laughs> is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I'll be watching Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. It's 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 that area. Yeah. You know, these yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. yeah they kind of grew up with petty crime, and both my character and Anthony's character spent uh, close to thirty years in prison. But uh, even, even really, I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Side and of it. Yeah. The band in and out, they were kind of in prison, and someone else. Had come and you know pick things up and they hold it together and then wow. they get out and, and then you, and you go forward to Bruce Springsteen who's from that area as well yeah exactly you know, yeah, like, yeah, you, know, work, you know the yeah. blue collar blue collar rock and roll exactly yeah. you know and that's uh, one of the great things about this band you know I mean you think of you might think of you know these guys as um, you know being cleaner than what they are but exactly. yeah they really are they're, you know, they're, uh, they're working class guys and that's what they're gotta be a bit dirty to be rock and roll so how many songs do you perform in the show 33, oh, I think. Wow. Yeah. wow. 33, and, and because the songbook of the seasons is so sort of autobiographical in nature, yeah, it sort of just weaves in and out of the yeah. storyline. I mean, the story is really the, the, the driving force of this entire show, and, and I think that's sort of a testament to how well written the show is, that, I mean, these amazing pop songs that we all know and love sort of almost play second fiddle to the story, mm. which is incredible, and I think it's because, you know, this, this, these guys who sold 175 million albums, and we know nothing about them. Yeah. I mean, you just said before you didn't know that they were in the I, mafia, and no one knew that story. Do you know anyone who'd been because, in jail? Yeah. Because they hid it, you know, yeah. it, because they were trying to compete with the bubblegum pop artists of the time, which was, you know, sort of selling all the records. So yeah. when they released... Uh, their first song, Sherry, in 62, they had to sweep all this stuff under the rug. 
so that they could fit mm. in with that sort of squeaky clean bubblegum pop image of the mm. 60s. What I love about these shows is this will be one of those shows where you go and you'll be constantly saying, I didn't know this was uh, them. I didn't know they did this song. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's really a, it's good. It's an amazing show like that. You know, I saw it, uh, I think, back in Melbourne like about four years ago and yeah. I, I'm 21, so I'm the youngest of the group and I was just sort of so, going, yeah. <laughs> hit after hit. I don't actually know Frankie in the Valley in the Four Seasons, but yeah. when I saw that show, I did not realise that they wrote, oh, what a night, walk like a man. You know, exactly. I take my eyes off you. So, so when, Great when the four of them walked in, uh, Graham, you, you're obviously you look like Frankie Valley. I thought you, you obviously play a Frankie Valley. <laughs> Vertically challenged. I well, think not even that. No, but even your look. You, know, you yeah, do look yeah, like yeah, Frankie Valley. Sure. Uh, so when you speak, what's the accent? It's a New Jersey. I mean, yeah, oh, I, yeah. Ge I guess so. Yeah, it's... twenty-two people boys. <laughs> 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 Hello. Would you like a job? She's not the best boy, but a chipper. That's all I can say. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, that's part of the, the stuff that you have to learn. I guess yeah. is part of the role. I mean, I mean, for me doing Frankie, the the thing that I guess I spent the most time on was that unique falsetto sound that we all know and and love. And and again, as Declan said, even if you don't know that it's Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons, you, you as soon as you hear that sound, yeah. you know that there's something unique about it. And and in 1962, you know, this was pre MTV, it was pre music videos, it was pre all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And so this sound jumped off the airwaves mm. really did because it, it, it no one had ever heard it before they were one of the first bands to ever double track lead yeah. vocals mm -hmm. so that really made it pop out as well and um and yeah there's a great line in the show where one of the radio announcers says who are these people four black guys or three guys and a girl like they had no idea <laughs> who well, the, this know, band, what, i mean i remember when, they, when their songs came out because of, of that vintage and, yeah. and you know it, you didn't get videos like you say to know what was mm -hmm. going on it took you a while to figure out who was in a group mm -hmm. in those yeah. days mm -hmm. and you had to wait until things like the ed sullivan show which gave you sort of that national television yeah. Yeah. They, no television was even still in its infancy back then so you had to wait until those sort of key television opportunities to yeah. actually find out what these guys look like right. or that you know, there might you, be yeah. a blurry black and white image on the yeah. front cover yeah. of the vinyl you know? yeah. well we've run out of time and we've just got to tell people to have to get along to the Absolutely. show and watch it. guys thank you very much thank for visiting you. Thank you. Thank you.